Oh, hello guys. Welcome back. So yesterday was an absolute dumpster fire and YouTube did everything they could to make me want to shut down the channel. And so yesterday was not a good day for me. Um, the one video I put up and I didn't realize how garbled it was. It, it sounded okay when I was playing it, and then by the time it got through YouTube, it was like... Blah, 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 blah. They let somebody, five different people, put copyright claims on that. Now, I didn't get a strike, but it was kind of like one of those moments where Loki was snapping his fingers and saying, wake up. Had three of those claims been strikes it said, and it's their right to strike your video if they don't feel you own the content, we wouldn't have a channel. So I took that down and I took the following video down because YouTube, after they do stuff like that, they tend to go through a lot of your content. And they'd upset me, made me really angry. And it was the same frustration I had on the old channel of you do the work to find the game. You do the work to play the game. And it is a lot of work and it's hours and hours of work. And sometimes you do, like I said in the video that you can no longer see, you can do 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes of recording until you find something you like and you find a recording you like. So it's not just the, say, 20 minute video you see. It's four or five hours before that is what the sum total of work is. And you put it up on YouTube and you're hoping to build up till you have an active community. And until then, you're doing this for free. And for them to have the nerve to put five copyright claims on it even before I publish, and I really wasn't thinking and I hit publish. I was on me but I thought about it and looking I had a discussion he said that could have been your channel right there had three of those been strikes and I said I know I said well what does that mean for the channel he said well you know and he leaves you to figure it out so I took that down I took the following video down because I have a tendency to speak my mind and I'm like they'll probably get in there and twist something I said around and that'll be the end of the channel you know um, they've already said that until everything gets back to full strength on YouTube, if they come across a video of yours that they feel is problematic and they really didn't explain what problematic is, they'll suspend your account. <laughs> I'm like, great, I tend to be outspoken. That This is going to be a lot of fun and a lot of stress for me. I was starting to get back towards normal me, but I'm trying to reel myself back in now. And Loki and Odin were a lot of help last night. Because I had a other experience last night. Now I told them, I know enough having worked with Loki and Odin that this is going wrong. That something is going wrong. It's the universe or whatever these things are that are showing up. I'm, I'm not going psychotic, I swear. I had another encounter from another nap last night. And I tried to be logical at first. I tried to say, well, I'm an ex-Catholic. It was guilt. My guilt manifested as something I could see in my mind's eye. Yeah, it could have been it. I, it. I was too warm when I slept. I'm too warm to have strange dreams. That could have been it. But it just it felt like a presence. I didn't know who it was. And I said, um, if it's going to keep doing this, if we're going to keep adding more and more and more into the basket, then I don't have time to do my lessons with anyone. And Odin got this smile on his face, and Loki got a smile on his face. I said, 72 in theory sounds great, until you realize, ideally, you can only work with so many teachers during a day and actually learn something from them. I mean, yeah, once you know them for a long time, maybe you could have like a 15-minute lesson or something, but... It's hard to pack them all into a day. In some days, one wants you to be learning this lesson, then the other one wants to be right on top of them and teaching you this, and it's too much. And I think it may have been another one that I had briefly discussed trying to come in, and I thought, no, I, I, I can't. I can't. And I went through a whole range of emotions, and I yelled a lot of things, because that's what I do when I'm upset. And, you know, the news got me down, too. The news is not the greatest in this state, but and yet I got a talking book topics catalog, which means library for the blind must be open, which means I believe that's Carnegie Library in Pittsburgh. So I, I don't know what's going on, guys, and that's a frustrating, scary thing. 
and Loki and Odin and you know a couple of the others are working on me on just letting that stuff go and I I got a message today on Patreon and it was really nice and I, I won't share because the person wanted to be private but you know the hardest thing about working with Loki or anyone else is taking that step out to work with him because you're used to wherever you came from I was used to even though I've been a witch for quite a while you're used to whatever background you come from and to step out from that and to step towards Loki is like stepping to me it was like stepping out into outer space and absolutely nothing because you can't see anything below you and that can really freak you out and I, I don't blame people for freaking out we all did it we all went through that especially now it has to be worse at least I started working with Loki before the movies I can imagine now it's like 10 times worse because you know um as you know, my family came into, my brother and I came into the Norse gods reached out decades ago, actually through the comic book, so comic book Loki, and yeah. But, you know, then you go on and you read the lore and you understand who they really are and you understand that they're not really the comic book character that can speak to you in a way and that can inform you in a way. But you do have to keep in mind that they're this ancient deity that <laughs> I get, hey, back here, he does not like his age mention. I, they are this deity that existed long before comic books and movies. That's the only thing you have to keep in mind if you're going to use pop culture stuff. Like if you're working with, say, Odin, keep in mind he's not Smite Odin. Or if you're working with Satan, keep in mind he's not really the Satan of horror movies or ghosts or anything else. It's it, it's it's okay to use pop culture because somebody mentioned that too but we do have to do that balancing act of learning who they really are and not trying to have them be what we want them to be i mean if pop culture satan existed uh you know that would be fun right and pop culture loki would be even more fun <laughs> um you know but it's it's a thing it's a process of we had to reevaluate what we want to do with the channel last night because Loki was very serious about it. He said, you've worked for years on this channel, and I know you're trying to entertain people and keep people's morale up as this virus keeps going on. But had, you know, those five claims been strike, been strikes, three of them, I would just need three, you would have lost the channel. You would have lost it for, I think it's like 90 days. You would lose it, and there's no humans to dispute with right now. And he said, you really have to start thinking about, you know, I know you want to entertain people and we don't get all these kind of claims all the time. But he said, you're going to have to think if we ever get a chance to, like, say we grow to the point where we monetize. He said, you may have to go back before you monetize, see anything that has a copyright claim on it and delete it. And he said, I know you don't want to hear this, but you might have to do that. And that might... It's a catch-22 that'll drop me then below being able to monetize, but if I monetize with stuff with a copyright claim on it, we're wondering now, is that going to magically morph into a strike? You know, can they do that? Can they make a claim and then change it into a strike? I don't know. And it's nothing anybody on YouTube likes to do to other people. These are just these bots that do this. Um, usually you don't hand out claims or strikes lightly if you're an actual YouTuber because if you are found out doing it spuriously, um, you will lose your channel. So someone has to have indeed stolen your content and then yes, you can put a strike on them and you should to protect your content. And like, let's say I stole a movie and I uploaded it. <laughs> okay. That company would have every right to strike my channel because that I don't care if I paid for that movie. It's not my right to then distribute that movie. If I got licensing fee to distribute it, and I made sure they knew I was going to distribute it on YouTube, then yeah, I could do that. Some of those channels that never seem to get strikes, they probably did that. They probably paid for the licensing fee, or they found out if they needed one, and then that you can distribute those films. But you, you ha just have to be kind of careful, and that's what Loki was reminding me of. He's like, you know, it's just we're going into a new kind of way of being um when you can get up and you see even democrats saying that trump should have closed the borders a long time before and 
we don't need immigration and blah, blah, blah. You, you know we're living in a new era. And, you know, I, I'm not going to go off into the economics of that and everything else. It's just we're living in a new era right now. It's going to take a lot of adjusting, but Loki, fortunately, has got to serve in times of upheaval. What he's been doing is letting me have my spastic fox fits, and once I was calm enough to be reasoned with and talked to, then he talks to me. Then he's fine. And he agreed that we might let up on the working with the demons for a while because it's, he said, it's too much for you. You're going crazy. You're trying to reference them all, and then because I've had a stroke, I forget information, information blurs together. He said, You're, this is too much for you. I'm taking this away from you. So Loki took the decision away from me, which I like. He has to do that. He usually will have very loose reins on you until he sees you really floundering and really struggling. And it doesn't mean that the demons are banned, but he's like, I'm taking this decision away from you. You do not have to work with them. If this, this keeps being more of a burden than a blessing to you, you're not going to do this work. And Odin's the same way. Sometimes when they are attacking other deities, as they have in the past, at least with me, they, they feel they're more of a burden to you than a blessing, because if they're not moving you forward spiritually, or they're not blessing you financially, or they're not getting you that job, or whatever else they came in claiming they were going to help you do, if they're not making your life better, Odin and Loki will get rid of them at some point, because um, gods are wonderful and gods are kind, but they can also be freeloaders too, and know a soft touch when they see it and come crash on your couch, as many people have put it. And they intend to do absolutely nothing for you. And after a while, your goodwill is allowed to run out. And you're allowed to chuck them all out and say, hey, you know, you keep talking a good game, but this shit has never manifested. I told uh, Mammon, I love Mammon dearly, I said, don't think because I got a tax return and the government had to send out a check, which nobody in this area has seen yet. I said, don't think I'm going to count that in your thing of manifesting me money because that's not how it works that check was due to come to me and that the stimulus was sent out by the president or the government or whomever i said don't think that's going to go into your box of what a great and powerful uh provider you are you are really good at saying no i haven't seen you manifest anything yet i got yeah 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 so, you know, it might be Loki and Odin for a time. I'm sorry to the people that I had to take down stuff yesterday, but, you know, I want a channel. I want a channel to last for years. I don't want to have to worry now that YouTube's changing, and they're really trying to push people like me off. They really don't want certain people on YouTube, and I would be one of them. Um... Now that they're just letting anyone and everyone make a claim, and the claims come in even before you publish, um, I might be dropping a lot of the games. I found another game last night, and I was playing through it because I was angry. It was kind of a combination of Slenderman and um, Outlast. And it was pretty crappy, but I was like, hey, it's free. I'll bring it to you. Maybe we'll give you something to do. Um... And I didn't put it up because I'm like, I if they would give me more claims on music or sound effects or any kind of crazy shit, and one of those would be a strike, that's already strike one. You only need two more. So, you know, it's it's not the best time for me to be trying to bring you guys games. It's There's nothing you can do on your end, and it's not like... um if you get all those strikes, you, all your viewers can go to YouTube and say, hey, this person did nothing wrong. Why the hell are you letting people claim on video games anyways? I'm I'm just too tired at this point, guys. You, ha you can fight every claim if you want, and you could certainly fight a strike, but I'm, like, way too tired to fight claims and strikes right now. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.